So New Zealand at home in Auckland for this trans-Tasman clash. And with Australia the visitors, it meant it was a clash of the co-hosts and the co-favourites. Welcome to the highlights. We're starting the second week. Or nearly at the end of the second week of the World Cup. Here's the opening ball. Southey to Finch. It's a wide, it's a big wide. A little bit of nervous energy out there. I'll tell you what it did do, swing. And that's a good sign, even though it was the wrong line, it swung. First runs. Yeah, it's nicely played. And just have a look. This is where the uh, outfield you see that a big score is on offer with a couple of partnerships given that the boundary, that's probably one of the, the largest here at Eden Park. It nearly got there though. That'll be four. Not swinging from Southey. Oh, that's a woeful start by Tim Southey. To be fair, he just has not got his radar right, and that's got them pretty quiet in the terraces already. And that flies for the boundary, so that got through. That was an effort ball. To finish the over, it's a massive start for Australia. 15. Oh, Dave Warner is totally mishit that. And it's gone for six. Well, well that's cruel. <laughs> it's very, very cruel for Bolt. But that's what's going to happen today. You're going to see those sorts of shots. And that's why Davey Warner's going hard at it. If I'm going to throw the bat out, I'm going to go really hard. That was a slog. That's an ordinary shot, but he's got a great result. That's actually funny to the crowd. So that's what can happen here. Yeah, that's extraordinary. And it can change what you're thinking as a batsman. In in the air again, but over the infield. So uh, there's a lot of nervous energy here from Warner. Oh, what a strike that is! That is a hell of a strike. Oh, I caught that. This is a very, very potent start by the Australian pair. And, uh, yeah, making a line in the sand here, aren't they? Attacking the bowling, putting pressure on Southie and Bolt. That's 65 metres that boundary, but to be fair, he said that that well, that's six on a lot of grounds around the world. That has gone seriously a long way up into the stand. Second tier. He's obviously confident. It's not swinging too much. Great shot. From Finch. Straight back in the face of Finch, he gets his wicket. Oh, great comeback. The stumps and the bars are gone flying. Aaron Finch looking to drive on the up. This one might have just nipped back. Looked like it was going to swing away. Nip back. Good line and length. Great comeback from Southie. He goes full again. Gives it a chance to swing. It didn't. Might have been the angle back in that beat Finch. Through the gate. And the Kiwis have something to cheer about. A big breakthrough at the top of the order. 30 for one. Early runs. It was a full toss. Thank you very much, says Watson. Well, that's what you want first up a fully on leg peg. Southie going for the miracle ball, maybe the Yorker, but he probably just needs to bowl line on length for the start and let the pitch and the ball do the rest that's a nice one a nice sighter for Watson he's away he just hasn't found consistency Tim Southey so far loses his footing that's a good ball from Bolt a really good delivery the crowd respond 39 for one short again this time Warner stands up Dispatches it. I don't like that plan, to be honest. Not consistently. It's too good for that in this ground. If you get it wrong or he gets it even half right, it's too vulnerable. Well, top edge will fly for six down the fine leg. He did half take his eye off it, so you know, they might not persist too long with this tactic. They might give it another couple of short ones, and if it doesn't work, then they might go back to more conventional type swing bowling. In fact, we're just seeing a change now as we talk about it. Just got it wide of him and way too powerful Good though. Luck. He's never going to catch that. Good luck. You get a hand on that. It'll take you out and claim off. That's 68 for one. 
timing from Watson and Vittori strikes. Well, it skidded on a bit more. We've got it high on the back to Shane Watson and he picked the man out in the deep beautifully. That partnership comes to an end just when it Australia didn't need it. And McCullum hands the ball to Vittori and it pays dividends straight away. That's the fourth time. Daniel Vittori has dismissed Shane Watson in one-day international cricket. Pretty comfortable in the end for Tim Southey. There you've got the emotion of one and the disappointment of the other. All in the same shot. Watson goes. Got Southey bowled for Tory 23. It's 82. Aussie skipper Michael Clark is the new batsman. That's the last ball of Vittori's over. Oh, big appeal. He's gone to. Two and two for New Zealand. Southey strikes the big blow. David Warner. He's going to have a chat here to his skipper. I just wonder if it was high. I reckon it was straight. It just looked a bit high on Davey Warner. Yeah, here you go. They're going to refer that. It's great momentum here from New Zealand. De Vittori gets rid of Watson, then bang, Tim Southey. First ball. That's straight. It's in line. It's just the height. The original decision's been out, remember. So the umpire's giving him out. Front foot's cool. No drama there. Let's have a look down the business end. To me, the first thing looked height. The umpire gave it out quickly. There was no hesitation. Southie's been expensive. But he might have made up for it if this is okay. The height will be the issue. And I reckon it looks okay. I think he's in trouble, David Warner. I think it's high, but because the umpire's given him out, I reckon it's going to be hitting the stance. But look how high that is, above the knee roll. Even though he's got little pads on, it's above the knee roll and it's going up. Now, is this going to be flicking the top right? More than half the ball hitting the stumps, which means the original decision will stay. That's pretty high. He's jumping off the ground. Look, both feet are off the ground, too. Top of the bales, if anything. Well, I don't think this is a bad review. I think it's a good decision to make the review. Both feet off the ground, above yeah. the knee roll, going up. Did a pitch in line. Yes, just in line. Is it a umpire's call? That's what he's there. Right at the top. Look at that warning. Just flicking the top. What a wicket for New Zealand. Two in a row, and it's the danger man, Davy Warner. He leaves Eden Park to the glorious cheers of this New Zealand crowd. New Zealand have bounced back. Watson gone from Victoria, and all of a sudden, Southie makes amends and picks up Davy Warner. 34 from 42. Australia, 80 for three. Michael Clark has missed so much cricket. He's missed the last 10 One Day Internationals that Australia have played. Nicely timed. That's uh, four runs. Well, you wouldn't have thought so after that shot. Absolutely beautiful shot off the pads. Yeah, that's his bread and butter, Michael Clark. Just watch the concentration on his face. And just that timing, straight off the sweet spot. Just turns the wrist. Let's the bat do all the talking. Yes! Go on. Go on. And Vittori strikes. What a bowler he is for the Black Caps. Wealth of experience and knowledge. And that's what he's brought to the game today. Dan Vittori. Massive nick we heard up here in our stump, Mike. Stephen Smith. Just not a lot of movement on the crease there. Flays the bat out. Nice catch there by Ronke. And Smith's on his way. Black Caps are all over Australia here at the moment. 95 for four. Two slips for Bolt. I like this option, bringing Bolt back on. Keeping in mind, the ball's only eight overs off from his end, so there will still be some shape there. We saw that with the first ball. Two reasons why I think it's a good option to bring him back on. One is, as I mentioned, but that shape, but also, two, he bowls a great ball to the right-hand batsman, which goes across him. We'll try and bring that first slip into play. Only one slip. A backward gully. A catching man each side. Top 
puts it on. That's a thunderbolt. Loose shot from Maxwell. He's only been out there for a couple of deliveries. Facing a bowl he probably hasn't faced before. Left-hander, there was a couple of balls shaped in, and that one just holds its line. Maxwell trying to force the ball through the offside, and it's cost him his wicket. was probably in the slot to hit but uh, just the execution wasn't there and Australia in trouble 96 for 5 Mitchell Marsh in at 7 and New Zealand have hauled themselves back into this contest and it looked early on as if Australia were running away with it a nervous shot from Maxwell well, he's, he's a free spirit, Maxwell. Sometimes she's got to you know, live with these situations. But, um, yeah, look, Australia in a bit of trouble. And all of a sudden, now in deep strife. They do bat long. There's still some batting to come. But, yeah, all sorts of strife. That's a wide down the leg side. From 80 for one to 97 for five. Yes, 80 for one, uh, Australia were looking good, you know, just building momentum. Knocking the ball around, the run weight was very good. And uh, all of a sudden, bang, 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 and five for 97. Oh, it's another one. Everything's happening now for the Black Caps. Marsh goes for naught. Bob on fire here. Tell you what, the way he ran out there was like Usain Bob. He is absolutely on fire. You hear the crowd. Another wicket, so another chop on. But what it is, it's just that good length. Nice shape on the ball. The seam presenting upright. Swings back in a little bit. Another chop on a leg stump. So Australia in a lot of strife now. Here's their other wicket, so... Here we go. 97 for six. Sneaks this down the leg side. It hasn't got far to go for four. Patton's away. He'll take uh, anything he can get at the moment. Uh, he's strangled at the moment. The Aussie batsmen have just had a horrible half an hour. He's gone! Outstanding! Black Caps are all over Australia. Bolt again. Well, he does it again, Bolt, as we've seen so many times. Great fielding positions there by Brennan McCullough to put them in the right areas. And Michael Clark, he sat a long time out there for his lack of balls he's faced. I guess lack of cricket too. Full shot, gets it up. And a really nice catch. So Bolt strikes again. Australia now in a lot of strife. 104 for seven. I'll tell you who's enjoying this, England. Because we gave them heaps the other day when they made 123. Saying England don't play one day cricket, they play half day cricket. Well, we've got to keep our mouths shut now. Well, what does Johnson do here? I mean, I think his best game here is just to have a go. Try to try to post something. Is, is he good enough to actually bat a length of time here? Will he combine with Haddon? What's his approach? Well, he's a natural st stroke player, and that's probably when he plays best, when he doesn't overcomplicate it. So I just think that's what he's got to do. If he starts looking to just to defend and try and occupy the crease, I think he'll get out. So, you know, there's plenty of gaps out there because it's an attacking field. He's just got to be smart, but he'll play attacking stroke play, and I think that's his best form of defence. Backs off in the air, another one gone, what a catch that is! Johnson's gone now! Well, I cannot believe it. That's such a, a soft dismissal. He does play his shots, but his footwork, he gave himself room, and a good...
Good catch by Williamson. He doesn't drop them at short cover. Good play by the Kiwis, but the, the Aussies are just folding up. Well, the Kiwis are all over Australia like a cheap suit here. That was a poor shot from Mitchell Johnson. He's a better player than that. In New Zealand, not got Australia now. 106 for eight. <laughs> It's not something you would often throw at Australia and label Australia with, but there's been some poor cricket play. Yeah, shot selection has been very poor. You know, there's been some good deliveries, yes, but uh, if most of the batsmen look at the way they've got out, they will be very disappointed today. The pitch looks like it's pretty good. It might be just holding a fraction after that initial burst where the, the hardness and shine's gone off the ball, but, gee, we, we've given away some wickets here, the Australians. Straight through, middle stump out of the ground. This is incredible stuff. Well, I don't know what to say, Richo. Stumps flying everywhere. We've seen batsman caught in the ring. We've seen batsman bowl and Mitchell Stark. He's gone as well. He's a good player too, Mitchell Stark. Let's just have a look at the delivery. That's middle, just... middle peg. Just try to play around it. It's fast, it's straight. He's trying to whip it through square leg and the middle pole goes cartwheeling across. Australia in all sorts of trouble here, 106 for nine. Good. Oh, just over the top of mid on for four. That's where the game changed for me when Vittori came on. It really did change the pace. Southie then knocked it over with a Davy Warner, 50-50 LB, and it just all went New Zealand's way after that with some poor cricket from Australia. But even when Vittori came on, you didn't think it could possibly be such a collapse. I mean, he got Shane Watson out on a, on a ball, which should have been hit for four. And really, that was the turning point, along with the Warner dismissal. This one's punched through the offside. It might, no, it won't quite get there. The outfield's a little bit on the slow side, so that's a good result. Six off the last two for Australia. Brad Haddon. Go! Straight. Is it far enough? Yes, it is far enough. Shot from Brad Haddon, a simple shot. And that's a short boundary down there, and then he's. Just played the ball on its merits. It was fairly full from the Victorians. Might be a bit nervous now. I was say, maybe he's a bit nervous. It's got a bit too full. <laughs> it's a simple shot, though. Good result. Oh, beats the bat. Final delivery of the spell. Well bowled, Trent Bolt. Yeah, super spell, that. Five for 27 off his 10. Well bowled. And Australia, 124 for nine. Tim Southey. Over. Good batting from Brad Haddon. Dangerous player at this time. Yeah, well earned boundary for Australia. And there's only one way for Brad Haddon to go, and that's that way. He'll pick the right delivery. On back on the offside. Just for Brad Haddon. Three out on the leg side. Oh, good shot. May well get a boundary. Yes, he does. Guptill's despairing dive. Can't prevent it. It's 140 for nine after 30. Pretty well time. I'd have to say the outfield's not quick at even time. You see there the left arm just knocking it into the rope. Great shot. One of the best of the day. And from the guys batting at number 11. He certainly can play. He's certainly not number 11. Patrick Cummins. Good time on the ball. And Smitty, it's just a proper cricket shot. Great shot. Beautifully struck for six. The most glorious shot to watch in the game, isn't it? Well, Walking to the crease, he said. Brad Haddon, he's got that knack of digging a straight out of trouble. That's just a beautiful swing. Great shape from Brad Haddon there. Watches the ball sail over the fence. That's a half volley. And it's a pretty easy option for a player of Haddon's class. So Anderson's got to get his act together under pressure very, very early in his spell. This time he should be out, he's out, it's all over. Anderson has done it. He stopped on the shot, Brad Haddon. And now he'll run a 
put the other set of pads on because Australia have to do some bowling very quickly. Well, one for six if you have with that, Anderson. He got a big welcome from the crease, and then he picked up the wicket of Brad Haddon, so... It's a massive wicket. Brad Haddon trying to advance down the wicket again. Just took the outside edge, and a nice catch. Yeah, the field as well. Brendan McCullum has done a fantastic job with his boys today. Only halfway down, though. It's still game on, 151. That's flying away. It's the shortest boundary on this ground. It's a no ball as well. The no ball fall is nearly the worst possible start. Now a free hit as well. Oh, Guttel has clubbed this over extra cover for the most improbable six. Outrageous from Guttel. So we've got 11 off one ball. Um, not quite the start uh, the Aussies were looking for. And talk, talking about ticking boxes, I mean, I, what, what boxes have they missed out? The Kiwis have been fantastic. And then all of a sudden they've faced, well, basically one ball and they're 11 without loss. Well, Brendan McCullum has had a full over to have a look at what's been going on out there. I'll tell you what, McCullum's going to have a go at this. Flashes, straight pass slip, four. Should be gone, it is. Cummins takes the catch. And Guptill's got to go. Good catch, actually. It wasn't an easy one, that, from Pat Cummins. Had to go high and to his right. Excellent catch, and that's just what we're talking about. Australia need to take a couple of easy scalps, a couple of big scalps, for New Zealand and not have let New Zealand have it all their own way. They've had this match all their own way except for the first few overs. Get a couple of wickets and put some pressure back on New Zealand. guptill has gone for 11 and New Zealand are 40 for one. So three slips in play. And that's four. And that's the 45 metres. How quickly did it get there? Well, when it flies at the 45 metres at 150 k, it gets there really quickly. Here he is, down, and there goes the ball, straight past Johnson, full of authority. And the 50's up for New Zealand. Only one wicket down. Oh, that's gone, look at that, that's an edge between keeper and first slip. They didn't have time to think. New Zealand, under 100 required, it's 96 from 263 balls remaining. Change to the field, second slip, Watson's gone out to cover. Oh, he's hit that nicely. No one's there. Fast hands. That's what you put this down to. A great eye and fast hands and just an intent to punish. An absolute out-and-out -out intent to punish. Of course, pain. He's got some himself. He must have a real issue with a white cricket ball. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like being out there for a long time. He's in terrific form. We saw what he did in the very, very first game of the Indian Premier League. He hasn't looked back since that. I think the caps have really, really helped him. He'll take it. Needs to be a clean catch, though. McCallum, 45 from 19 balls faced. What it is, it's an amazing 12 to 18 months in one man's life. And it's all about being positive, backing yourself back. Days where it won't come up and Nick first ball will get his stumps knocked out. But I tell you what, when it does come off, Every single person here is enjoying this. He tries to go again, it's just the single. And that's his 50. Take a bow. In 21 deliveries. And he's setting Eden Park alight. Well, I gotta say, fellas, I've been lucky enough to be down on the sideline for some all black test matches in the 80 minutes of euphoria. This has outdone it. What I've seen in the last three hours here at Eden Park has been the most astonishing atmosphere, the most astonishing scenes I've seen in New Zealand. And he's flat battered straight to the man. He 
He was deep at mid-off, back on the boundary rope. McCullum's gone. Well, Pat Gums has got his man. Brendan McCullum finally goes. He's got 50 next to his name of just 42 balls, but tried to smack that one, didn't quite get it. Quite uh, right on the bat, and he goes. 24 balls, 50 runs. He's settling set the, the target up. 78 for two. <laughs> what a test match cricket now from Australia's point of view. Straight out test match cricket. They're going to get eight wickets in a hurry. Absolutely. Australia just keep pushing for the wickets, stay attacking. There's a bit of a wobble in that small run chase against Scotland. And there's another one for Australia. The change. It will start catching McCullum. Now he's bowling one. Well, it's around that 79 to 81 period where we've seen a lot of wickets fall today. Mitchell Stark straight on the money. And that's a big, big wicket. Beautiful seam position. Inside edge from Taylor. Off stump flies back. He knows he's got his man. Smiles on the Australian faces. 79 for three. Stark, Mitchell Stark knocking that middle stump out and he'll be on a hat trick when Corey Anderson comes to Chris. Beautiful delivery, just swung back perfectly. A bit of a gap between bat and pad. It's a tough one to cop first up. He's gone, Elliot. It's four for 79. Well, Australia fighting back. Mitchell Stark, he bowls a peach. He's on a hat trick. He's got three for 20. Three slips in play. Bat pad. <laughs> Terrific bowling. Bang on target. And Anderson, he would have felt the pressure. And it'll fall safely off the shoulder of the bat. Good delivery. Oh, there's a bit of luck, Richo. Jeez. Got a little bit of width. And that's where you can use the pace. So if there's a width like that and you've got the pace at Cummins, expect more boundaries. Johnson round the wicket. Oh, almost a caught and bold opportunity down the ground for four. It's a bit of relief for Anderson. Yeah, look, I don't think it would have taken Mitchell Stark. I thought of bowling straight through Mitchell Stark. I think Johnson's looked a little bit short of match practice today. The ball's just not quite coming out of his hand as he would have liked. And I just think for straight, any chance Stark had to bowl through. I'm only assuming he's coming around the wicket to bowl these short deliveries, which might be everything that Anderson wants this time. An inside edge. Misses the stumps, Haddon can't get to it. Back-to-back -back boundaries. No, in this situation, take them any way you can get them. Take them any way you can get them. But if I lay it down and I'm like dead, dead, dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my life. The crowd getting engaged again. Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain of pain You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil for you Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through 
got issues in my head I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Thinking something out of my Dead. Will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me, is it me, am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a dawn Never really noticed what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my And that is a brilliant piece of fast bowling. It's just all about pace and accuracy, and Ronke will be left to dwell on that. It's 139 to 6, Ronke for 6. Oh, that's out too. He's headed straight to mid on. Never really notice what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain of pain You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's just that you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text Or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down And I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get Sick of being a monster Out of my head Under my bed Think you're something Out of my head Play dead, will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me, is it me, am I deluded?